Mood Vlogs, aka Ma's Video Vlogs. Number 45, how to call a 1-800 number in a foreign country. Good morning, it is 6.18 a.m. I'm on my way to work. I woke up a little earlier at 5.45 because I got to call the student loans. Now I'm going to tell you how to do it just in case if you're ever in my situation. Big thank you to my mom who found out the solution for me. <laughs> And big thank you to everyone else who shot me a message, tips on what I should do. Like really, thank you guys so much. They all helped. The way I called a 1-800 number internationally is Noble. That's known for <laughs> calling internationally. <laughs> you could buy prepaid cards on it or you could use the app which allows you to call internationally using Wi-Fi. You could buy prepaid cards on it or you could use the app which allows you to call nationally using Wi-Fi. If you don't have a prepaid phone in whatever country you're in, you could use Wi-Fi. I have a prepaid phone in Australia, so I got the prepaid card, but it was a hassle. I'm here to tell you a tip on what you should do with Noble because if you don't, you will be in the same problem as me. If you're going to use Noble, do not sign in to the app first. Let me repeat myself. Do not register through the app first. Register through the website. I signed up through the app first and it just caused so many problems. I couldn't add any credit to my prepaid phone account. I couldn't buy a prepaid card for some reason. My mom did it. She made an account via the website and she could do all of those things. So I'm not sure why <laughs> they even have an option to register through the app, but please do not register through the app first. Register on the website. After my mom registered, she just added my phone number into her account. Then she bought me a prepaid card, which was very cheap. I think it was like $5 for 600 minutes. So it's pretty easy, pretty cheap. If you have a prepaid phone in your country, get a prepaid card and it's simple after that. I called the Fed Loan Servicing Company that I use at 5.45 a.m. I didn't defer my loans, but I got forbearance. Know the interest is still gonna be there in the end. I got my payments to stop for now. I don't have to stress about my poor, sad American bank account. I think this is a win. I get to focus on surviving at the present moment now. Finally solved this issue that took quite a bit of time. So remember, make it a good day or not, the choice is yours.